It's a beautiful evening in Winnipeg as we get set to fire up another year of Friday Night Football on TSN. It's the Bombers and Ticats at IG Field. To feet aside. At the top of the list for the CFL and TSN Top 50. They hand it off to Dembski. Tries to cut it back. Ball pops out. Mad scramble for it at the 40 as Dembski kind of got spun back around. And we'll see if the Ticats were able to hop on this ball, which would be an early swing of momentum at IG Field. And it is Hamilton Tiger Cats football as Dembski has one pop away from him under pressure. You have a chance to score six, you want to go for that, not just settle for three. Second and ten, Mitchell running out to his left. Throws it, is it intercepted on the far sideline? A discussion between officials and Willie Jefferson, who's in there trying to figure out what the call is going to be. And it is an interception. Guys in great shape getting in even better shape. Unbelievable. Deep shot down the field. Agadosi's got it. Pulls it in just inside the 50. And eventually forced out of bounds in the lineup in place of Kenny Lawler. And the big fella hauls it in. Bombers need seven. They'll take more for sure. Pressure coming. Polaris towards the end zone. Dembski got it. Touchdown Winnipeg. Polaris to Dembski. And the Bombers strike. Three of six to start this game. Big Hill bringing some heat. Mitchell down the field looking for White. Got turned around against home. And it does fall incomplete. About this being the, the longest he's been with one team. Polaris looking for Dembski again. And he's got him again. Dembski with two big ones early. Takes it down inside the 25. Has it. Fake. Dembski end zone touchdown. Rasheed Bailey, rather, as Bailey gets involved, his first catch of the ball game. To the Bombers and the home crowd here. Polaris fakes the handoff. Wolotarski in the end zone, defender ball, touchdown! Polaris strikes again. His third passing touchdown of the opening quarter, and the Bombers in full control. Smith, a nice find in the fourth round. They'll take the handoff to Butler. Mitchell now looking down the field for White. Tried to get back to it, but Holm comes over the top and breaks it up. What a play. Last year, Mitchell looking down the field for White. Misses him. Too much on it. And White could not get there. Bo Levi has tried to find him a couple of times. Underthrew him once, overthrew him once. But it was a good try. Mitchell is 7 of 14, and Jefferson gets there to take him down for the sack. Willie Jefferson's first sack of the season comes late in the second quarter. Egadoshi back in there now. Polaris dumps it off. Oliveira puts on the brakes, finds some space. First down and more. Brady Oliveira inside the 30. A big pickup for the running back. As Polaris found him. Second and ten. This time they'll hand it off. Oliveira will just push it ahead. And that with two seconds on the clock. Flags here at the end of the half. Ticats. Diallo being pulled away by teammates. After the play, Ooh. major foul. Unnecessary roughness. Hamilton number 94. In, standing shadow of his goalpost to have this one blocked and hopping all over at the tie cats and if you're looking for momentum how about a touchdown omar bayless who took a penalty earlier in the game gets some redemption here at his first cfl strike has been targeted double digits here tonight by his new quarterback now down the field, Duke Williams grabs it, turns, takes it to the 15, trying to stay on his feet, and he does, to the 5, and eventually it's Holm again who gets back and wraps him up. Second catch of the game for Duke. Looks to his right, 
throws to his right for wide, goes up, gets it. And he hung on, spectacular by Tim White, and he lays in pain just beyond the end zone. And what exactly happened to the Tiger Cats' leading man? Second and goal, Hamilton two. Simple this time, Oliveira untouched to the house, and the Bombers tack on six more. Team on the ground. Polaris in trouble this time. Can he get there? No, it's going to be scooped up at midfield. And now a race will stay on their feet. And all the way the other way, a scoop and score for Edwards as the Ticats defense gets it done. Fake to the running back, Oliveira moving to the right, looking to get it to the receiver. Bailey coming the other way. Big Ted Laurent dents the offensive line. Newcomer Chris Edwards over from Toronto into the backfield as well. I got to able to take advantage of it as they just hang around a little bit. Grant finding some space. That ball pops up. The Ticats have it again. Are you kidding me? This one down to the 10, the 5, and stopped just short. Touchdown saving tackle from Augustine. But the Ticats are right back in business. Bombers crowd trying to get behind this defense. They'll hand it off. Pushing through and getting there. James Butler. Touchdown, Ticats, and they are still alive. Four options out to his right. Looks that way, throws that way. Williams has it. And we've got an eight-point ball game for Friday Night Football at IG Field. Oliveira stands to the left of Polaris. Pressure coming. Polaris steps up. Now he's going to take off to his left. He's got some room to run. Spins. And avoids disaster there from Carney. But it will bring up third down. And it'll be about three or four yards shy of what they needed. Now third and ten. Mitchell's got to have it here. Three options to his left. Mitchell's in trouble. And he'll be taken down. Celestin Haba, first CFL sack, is a big one. Have to be happy with where they started tonight, Bombers fans do, don't they, Dwayne? Yeah, great way to start the season for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, winning in very convincing fashion.